What to do if we are connected to Wi-Fi but has no internet? Step 1. Confirm whether your internet provider is down. If all your devices has no internet connection and your Wi-Fi indicator is still on, the most obvious answer is that your internet provider has an outage. Before you start rebooting and shuffling wires around, it is always a good idea to check this first. Turn on the cellular data to your phone and look up your internet provider's customer-facing website or social media pages to see if an outage is listed in your area. If you are not finding the answer you can confirm whether there is no internet connection in your area due to a problem with their service. Step 2. Do a reboot on your entity. When you have no internet connection, you should always start with simple solutions first. For manual rebooting, you can turn off the ONT and after 2 minutes turn on it again. Then plug in the router. It generally takes about 5 to 10 minutes for these devices to reboot and power back up again. Then it is time to go back and check whether your devices are connected again. We can also do the rebooting in the ONT by using the software. Yet, sometimes, even this does not work. What to do then? It is time to try step 3. Step 3. Check your router settings to ensure your permissions are correct. When there is no internet connection, yet your internet service or router is not the problem, then there may be a problem with your network permissions. Every home Wi-Fi network has media access control identifiers that allow certain machines access to your network. If these permissions are not set correctly, it can automatically boot off your devices. So, you need to check whether this system is in approve or deny mode. Locate your Windows key and press it. When you get a search field to come up, type in CMD. Right click the command prompt app and click the option that says run as administrator. Right click again and you will get a command prompt window. Now type in the command IP config and press enter. Your default gateway IP address should come up now. This will give you a number that looks something like this 192.168.x.x copy this number. Open up your web browser and type or paste the number into your browser and press enter. This should open your router's management console. To access this console, however, you will need to type in your credentials. It is important to note that these credentials are not the same as your Wi-Fi username and password. This should get you into your settings panel. Look for the MAC address filtering feature. Make sure that is disabled or that you are not denying service through a filtering rule that you have never set. Step 4. It is time for a network reset. So, 
By now, you have unplugged, reset, and double checked your connections. If you have done all these, and you are still stuck in no internet connection land, then we generally recommend starting over from scratch with a network reset. Here is how to fix no internet connection problems by rebooting your network settings. Go to your search bar and type in settings. Look for the network and internet option and click it. You should have a left hand menu. Look for the status option and click it. Look for the network troubleshooter option and click it. Network reset should appear in your options. When you click network reset, it will walk you through a sequence that will allow you to reset all your devices and network preferences. When you have completed this sequence, click your Wi-Fi icon. Make sure your network is showing and connect to it. However, if you have done all these things and it does not work, a call to your internet provider may be your best course of action. You could have a faulty piece of equipment that needs to be replaced or there could be a problem with the internet connection from your provider to your individual home. Please subscribe our channel and also press the bell icon there for getting notifications. Leave a comment.